Hey guys, Dan here. It's been a little bit since I made a video, so uh, I thought it would be good to upload two or three or four, see how many I have, uh, different little things that I got going on. Uh, before we, uh, I show you what's going on, I wanted to give a shout out. First, I want to say thanks to all the subscribers that are on the channel. Um, there's a fair amount of you there, and I appreciate that signing up, and I know that it, uh, it's kind of lame when I'm not trying to get videos up. I think that I'm going to try to set the standard like Benny does, Benny Mac, if you haven't checked out his channel, to try to get a video up at least once a week. Um, I, uh, for me, you know, being busy, but uh, uh, definite shout out to Scott at uh, Plastics 101 incredible builder, uh, heck of a nice guy. Uh, I've learned a lot, so thanks, Scott. Um, of course, Benny uh, made me realize I need to clean up my stuff. He keeps his stuff squared away, you know, clean videos, all of that. It's uh, really neat to uh, tune in and see what he's got going on, and who would have thought that I'd be friends with someone in Australia and I live in Alaska. I'm still like, wow, pretty cool. Gil at Red uh, Model Red Dragon Model Works uh, in Chicago, it's cold, uh, heck of a builder. Thanks, Gil, for the inspiration to help me realize there is more to building than just cars. Um, and uh, Benny and Scott have done the same. And then another shout out to uh, Rick Howard. Holy smokes. You know, if you haven't been to Rick's channel to see all the training videos that he has, you should take, take a couple minutes and watch what he has going on. Uh, very very helpful and on top of that I had a couple questions I sent him an email he picked up his phone and called me from Canada to Alaska and spent spent his time with me on the phone you know it's one thing that uh, to me that's unique about this this YouTube is that I'm making friends all over the place um, that are willing to help if I have questions to do whatever so uh, you know, it's, it's a big deal to me, and I appreciate it, and I'm glad that I'm allowed to be part of the community. So, thanks for that. Um, so, with that, give me a here a second, and I will turn the camera around and show you some of the stuff I'm working on. All right, guys, this is a uh, 69 Talladega Revell kit. Um, it's crazy, plum crazy. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Uh, it's rattle can, um, tester's lacquer, uh, and it does have a couple coats of wet on it. Um, came out really, really nice. Let's see if I can, you can kind of see, you can see me in it and everything. The color's off a little bit. It's got a blue hue to it, but, um, Overall, for what's coming out of the rattle can, I'm real happy. The engine bay is not finished yet. It needs to be painted black. Um, there's that. There's my undercarriage. Um, this looks like crap because this is so overexposed. There we go. So that looks a little better. Um, it's a lot of metalizer and stuff that I put on there. Um, very, very happy overall with how the bottom of it came out. As you can see, I think that uh, it looks really good. All right, guys, there's my motor. Came out pretty good. Uh, this is all box stock. Um, I'm entering it in a car competition I've never done before for the Fur Ronda here in Anchorage. So I'll let you all know later how that goes. Let's see if I can turn this and see a little bit. Try not to get too much of a shadow. So you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, let's see if it'll focus for me. There's a little bit of what's going on. A little bit more. There we go. Alright, so there's that one. Give me a second and I'll show you what else I'll show you this. This is the interior tub. Uh, I haven't got it put together yet. Uh, you can see some of the detail. Let's see if you can see a little bit. If the camera wants to focus or not. Doesn't look like it. 
All right, guys, this is another uh, kit that I'm doing. This is box stock also. It is a, it's the 67 Coronet Foose Kit. Um, I painted it copper. Uh, got the decals on the back. You can see they laid pretty good. Pretty happy with uh, what I got going on there. Let's see if we can put it that way. Working on the engine bay. Got a few things in there um, going on. This is another box stock build. Uh, two things why I'm doing box stock is that one, it helps me fundamentally just with my building skills so I have a good foundation. And two, um, for the competition, I just felt like that's where I needed to be because I'm not as skilled scratch builder as everybody else. So there's, there's that. So there is the uh, undercarriage of the car. Um, the fuel tank's aluminum. That's getting some real high reflection from the light. If I pull my hand off, even trying to diffuse this a little bit for you so you can see what's going on. The block and the transmission I just left red. Um, I've been working hard to get rid of seam lines and stuff and I feel like I did a good job on this one uh, getting rid of all the, as a matter of fact, it's probably the best motor in my opinion that I've done. Okay, so there's my motor. Um, got some different colors on there. I think that it's coming out. The air cleaner is going to be gloss black. It sits on the top. I'm trying not to shake too much. You know, this is sometimes a pain. Uh, gloss black. Well, let's see if I can turn this so you can see a little bit. Uh, there we go. Trying to get everything we can get on there. To... All right, guys. All right, guys. So here's the tran here's the tub. Uh, I wanted the dash to be darker than the interior. It's all teal, uh, Auto Air, sparkalescent teal. Um, I got to finish up the tachometer. Needs to get dropped in there on the center console, and the uh, shifter needs to go in there. But I think uh, I got some good detail, I think, on the, uh, in there on the dash. Let's see if I can get this. To... Oh, what a pain. So, yeah, I think uh, overall that it looks pretty good. All right, guys, and here is my... Ravel Huey Hog uh, Hilo and I do want to say one thing about this is I've been posting pictures on Facebook on uh, Rick Howard's Facebook page um, Scale creations and they liked it and they made it the page banner for the week. So I thought that was kind of cool um, Overall, this has been a fun build uh, Benny Mac is the motivator for this because I was getting tired of not feeling like I was getting anything done and I saw a couple of the real cool military things and dioramas that Benny had done and so I was like you know what I need to just do something and get it done so uh, there we go got the Huey uh, a couple of things that have been fun for me on this kit is um, I need to really learn how to do decals and uh, so I've been working on the decals and stuff and I've never used the micro set stuff and um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't have my, can't see that well. Uh, but you can see the rivets and the, the tail rotor, the drive shaft cowling, everything from that set. It looks like it's painted on there so that the product worked incredible, which, you know, it's supposed to, right? <laughs> so I don't know if it'll let me zoom up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm still trying to figure out this video stuff too. It's been kind of a bear for me. So that's why I haven't been posting. I haven't been real happy with my photos or my videos. And then I realized that I was approaching things wrong and the videos don't need to have me in them or be lit, anything fancy. You guys just want to see what's going on. So here we go. So anyway, the camera doesn't want to focus super tight, but 
Um, you kind of get the idea. Let's see if it'll let me show you the inside cabin a little bit. Let me see. Hang on. I'll come back. You can kind of see you got the seats painted in there and the seat bar hung up in there. A uh, couple things that um, this, this kit, Chris has got this kit. Plastic Classic has this kit and I'll give you a couple. Okay guys, so if you're thinking about building this kit, and Chris this is for you too, things that I had trouble with and if when I build another one of these, which I'm going to, is that the um, the top cover here is a separate piece and it doesn't fit very well. So you can kind you can't really see, but there's some little uh, fit issues in here um, between the door rail and the and the hood when it sits down on top. The way that it mounts up here, where the door channel hits the top of the window channel, this all needs to be sanded. And then the way the back tied in um, back here by the transmission cowling where this slides into the back it doesn't fit real up through real well and it should you know it needs to be some sand needs some sanding but i didn't realize it till after i put it together this is re a relatively inexpensive kit so but i'm going to do another one and then the chin bubble windows because of the way that this fits and then this mounts to the bottom there's a uh, channel that ties into the bottom here. These windows should have been sanded a little bit so you get a better fit. But overall, for just a couple day build, I think that the kit came out well. Things that still need to be done, swash plate. Um, this, I need to put some different color here to give you a little bit of contrast. But uh, overall, this was a fun build. Um, and uh, I'm not done with it. When I'm done with it, I'm gonna show you guys another video because I want to try to do a diorama so um, I've never done one and so I'm gonna try that so anyway I got one more video or I got two more things to show you so give me a second I'll be right back guys so a while ago I started a 69 Nova Pro Street kit it's a re-release of another kit that's you know it's I guess it's been released numerous times it came in in blue I uh, had started to put it together and nothing would line up and what was frustrating was that I was following Rick's videos on how to cut doors open because I was like hey I'm gonna cut a door open the door part came out real well um, and then I started to run into all these fit issues and got frustrated and uh, I have a little bit of PTSD <laughs> and uh, said screw this and ripped it all apart. Now I know, you know, Dr. Cranky wants us to have fun. Everybody, you know, Rick wants us to have fun. Everyone wants us to have fun. It was just a little frustrating. I spent so much time. But there were things that I did learn. One, I shot auto air on this body and I'm actually very happy with how it came out. Um, orange sparklescent. It's not a sparklescent, but it's a uh, I can't remember what I did. There's multiple coats of auto air on here. It came out really well. Um, this is going to be part of something I'm going to show you in the next video. I had fun detail in the engine. So um, the engine part went well. Um, and then I drilled holes and tubbed and did a bunch of stuff here in the had some clean lines put in and everything for running fuel and had a few mistakes there but overall I was happy with how that how that came out so I did learn some stuff from that and I didn't smash it I'm hoping to uh, another video this is going to be my Dr. Cranky calendar build the box is still in plastic haven't opened it yet so um, I'm going to build it in the stock version and it's going to be, you know, box stock, super clean. I might try to weather it and stuff like it's been racing. We'll see and submit my pictures and see what happens. But uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. So we'll see. Hopefully it goes together well. So we have that. Um, and then uh, I do have one more thing.